Taipei Mayor Ke wen says that he too will be sitting out the race for president. Previously, the mayor had said he would run if Terry Go did not. Go cleared the path on Monday by dropping out, but the mayor says there isn't enough time to prepare a ticket for 2020. He said his new political party plans on winning seats in the legislative yuan. After Go's late night announcement, the spotlight swung to Mayor Ke, who previously said he would run if the billionaire didn't. If he had said this one month earlier, we would have had time to prepare. Now it's all too rushed. We'd have to look for a vice president. It's so sudden. As I was walking out the door today, I asked my wife how much the registration fee would be. She said it was one million NT. I said, do you have that? Saying there was too little time to prepare, Ke announced he would not be joining the race. With Go abandoning his presidential bid, Ke's political party faces an uphill legislative battle and the daunting prospect of campaigning alone. It's fine, it'll just be a little harder. Going forward, we'll still maintain a cooperative relationship. We'll strive for the important principle of there being three major parties, each of them without a majority. Currently, the ruling party holds a majority in parliament. We have seen that the ruling party is unscrupulous in its governance and that it is engaging in pork barrel politics and exorbitant spending. In particular, it is rolling out too many big spending policies ahead of the elections. In my view, there is no financial discipline being exercised. As the presidential contest goes back to being a two-way, Mayor Ke is pushing forward with his plan to build a third force in the legislative yuan.